Ladies and gentlemen, the show we've all been waiting for. Paranormal Buzz Radio is proud to present RVP Paranormal and Friends with your hosts, Kim Purvis and Allison Robinson. Live every Thursday night on Spreaker, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 Central, 5 Pacific. Be sure to check out their Facebook page, REP Paranormal Busters. Views and opinions expressed in this podcast by the host or the guest do not necessarily reflect the views of Paranormal Buzz Radio or its sponsors. Use of any material produced by Paranormal Buzz Radio without express written consent is strictly prohibited. For information on everything Paranormal Buzz Radio has to offer, visit our website, ParanormalBuzzRadio.com. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Listener discretion is advised. Hey everyone, welcome to another night of R.A.P. Paranormal and Friends. Thank you for joining us for our 100th episode. We have a bunch of awesome guests tonight. And let's say, before we even hit the mute unmute button, we already went down the rabbit hole. So who knows where we're going to go with this tonight. And apparently my camera can't get hard. It just wants to show my boobs. So everybody's just looking at my boobs. Sorry for those that aren't watching or can't see us. So. You can, just hear, you can just hear us. You just have to imagine her boobs. You just have to uh-huh. imagine. Imagine all the boobs. So, all right. So, we have special guests tonight. We have Kelly McCarville. Woo! We have Shay Carroll. Woo! We have Cynthia. How do you say your last name? I always get it wrong. Gerodius. Gerodius. Okay, that's what I thought. And then we have Matt. How do you say your last name? I was going to... <laughs> Is it... Whoa, wow. What else? What else? What else? All right, there we go. Woo! This poor, brave man in here with all his crazy women. He is in here with a... Bu- he should be... He should be like, yeah, buddy. Has her pay. All Has her these pay. hottie women tonight. He just signed up because he knew where the camera was going to be pointed. You know, don't let me fool you. He is a tech wizard. He's got don't that all figured out. He is yeah. so intelligent. Okay, I'm trying to get my screen bigger because right now all I'm looking at, well, I mean, I don't mind just looking I at told Kelly. You just but, it a little bit. But, you know, here we go. Now I got everybody in here. Everybody. So first, before we start, I want to give thanks to Shay and Matt because without them, we wouldn't be here. They own us. They are the owners of Paranormal Buzz Radio. So give a big shout out to them and a round of applause for them. And thank you for letting us make it to 100 episodes. How the hell we got to 100 episodes? I have no clue. And Shay was our first guest. And Shay was our very first guest. You got here by lots of wine. Lots of wine, yeah. (laughs) Shay popped our cherry to the podcast realm. Let's just put it that way. Behave, Allison. And I told you, I told you I'd be provoking it. So there we go. No holds far. (laughs) Not in our show. (laughs) No. No. Okay, so let's go around. I'm gonna go to Matt first. Matt, why don't you introduce yourself? Give a little bit of background on yourself. Hiya, Matt. Uh I like uh, long walks on beaches, uh, oh, walks in the forest. Is this, is this your Tinder account? <laughs> wait, which way do I, do I oh, swipe right or Tinder? left? I forget. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the uh, co-owner of Paranormal Bus Radio. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he just travels right on like nothing was said. <laughs> <laughs> you lived with me for 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll shut up. Go ahead, Matt. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, let's see. Uh, paranormal investigator for the past several years. Uh, yeah. And... Well, what do you? Ha I just want to let you know, Matt, that I have been reading up on the string theory. So I am going to have you on the show by yourself at one point, and you and I are going to discuss the string theory. Just a heads up for you. Oh, I can't wait for that. <laughs> oh, that'll be fun. <laughs> That's between her and him now. <laughs> you can't hear me? He's pretending. It's great line. Turn up your hearing aid. He I don't. I, I think he's freezing. I think he, he might be freezing. I think. Oh, oh, no. uh -oh. Oh, 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 what the hell? I think he froze. We scared him away. Oh, oh my God. How do I get him back? How do Again. I get him this man does not scare easily. Well, <laughs> Again, 10, 11 years. No, he does not scare easily. So challenge accepted. Yeah. I'm going to meet the man in August. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> One of these days, there we'll get is. to meet him. Okay, where are you at? <laughs> there you are. You're back. Woo! <laughs> You're back. Did you hear me? Did you hear me about having? Yeah. You heard me about the whole string theory then. No. no. <laughs> okay. Well, I said I've been reading up on it because you asked about it. So I've been reading up on it. So next time we're gonna have you on by yourself, and you and I are just gonna discuss that. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> that was just something I pulled out of my ass. So I. Well, that's no okay, idea. and I and I went ahead and looked it up, so that way you and I can discuss it. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay. So many comments. String ass. Like, oh. <laughs> we love semen. <laughs> oh <my> God. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> if you guys put in there for that, that was just classic. Oh gosh. <laughs> All right. All right. Moving on. I'm Poor Kim. We need. So hard not we to need. <laughs> We need a bigger camera so you guys can see Kim. There's Kim right there. <laughs> Hi, Kimmy. Hi. She's hiding. She always hides off the camera. We need a bigger camera. That's what I'm going to get. Bigger camera. Okay. A wider lens. A wider lens. So you can get the whole. I thing. need a wider lens just for me. <laughs> I was Come thinking on. it too. I'm like, ooh, no. how wide a lens would I need to get all of this? No, you yeah. don't. No, you don't. Don't even. <laughs> They're like, oh, my God, and they're laughing in chat. That's great. We love to make everybody laugh, you know. That's fun. That's the fun part of our show. All right. Yep. <laughs> Let's move on. Okay, so Cynthia, because I know we have a lot of listeners in, like, the U.K., and now the Australia has been listening to us, so hello down Ooh. under. Ooh. Cynthia, why don't you give uh, a little bit about yourself? Um, my name is Cynthia Gerodius. I am one fourth of Raven Rose Paranormal. Uh, we are out of Storm Lake, Iowa. Um, I am the group's um, medium. Um, I thought you were going to say mother, but you know. <laughs> oh, that too. That too. That too. Okay. She could be. Yeah. If, if you she has to keep us guys, all in line. I am the group. I am the group's medium. I am the group's mother. I am the boss. I am the. Queen B I C T H <laughs> and anything yes, else that we call do me. not swear on this podcast. Oh, oh my God. I'm sorry, I have to hang up now. So do I. <laughs> um, I can't handle that responsibility. Along with all the other names that they call me behind my back that I don't know about. <laughs> oh, whatever. Um I have been doing this for going on about six years now. Um, we have been a team for about four. And yeah. Oh, uh, we have a podcast on Monday nights with Darren Buss and Shay and Ashley Storm and um, yeah, round table. So, just kind of all around here and there and everywhere. All right. Awesome. 
All right, Shay, you next. I am Shay Carroll. Um, I thought I was queen bitch, but I guess not. Uh, <laughs> I think you have. I think you have several of us. Yeah. We're into some people. Uh, I am a bitch. I a paranormal investigator for what six years or so now officially, and um, or close to six years. No, it's over six years now. Um, co-owner of Paranormal Buzz Radio. I produce most of the shows. Um, I love all the hosts. I'm a, I, I, I'm a mother of many, many children. Um, <laughs> uh, that I'm not allowed to mention on air. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, is that a good? I never have this down right. I never. I hate talking about myself. Ask me oh. questions about something else. Uh, what do you want me to ask questions You forgot about? to add that everybody loves you. Who, who, uh, who do you think is a douchebag? <laughs> I think I have the answer for that one. Did I mention that I am the co-owner of this network? I can't, other than... Uh, <laughs> I think I just heard an EVP. Oh, sure I think so too. Oh my god, I'm gonna rip off my shirt so I can get scratched by a demon. Come at me, bro! Right. <laughs> There's Nick. I was waiting for him to say something. All right, Kelly. Last but not least. Alrighty. Um, I am Kelly McCarville, also known as Moon Spinner. I am half of Traveler's Moon. The other half is Chris Nielsen. Um, we also have a show on Paranormal Buzz Network. We have the Traveler's Moon podcast. And for some crazy reason, Shay asked me a long time ago to be co-host on Shay's Paranormal Chat. So um, Paranormal or Traveler's Moon is every other Wednesday and Shay's Paranormal is every Friday and Kelly is there Sporadically. <laughs> That's the oh, best I can say. You're <laughs> busy. You're she's not there. She's there most of them. I mean, I'm not, there when I can't be. Come on. It's crazy. Four seasons. Yeah. But um, I am a natural born psychic and a medium. And I uh, have been doing paranormal investigations or some form of ghost hunting since I was a teenager. So more years than I'm going to admit to on air. Um, and yeah, that's just kind of me. So you're a natural born psychic instead of an unnaturally born psychic? Well, so <laughs> I, I've been thinking about that more. And the reason that I kind of started saying that is I was doing it before I realized I was doing anything versus like the ones who kind of build their skills. You know what I mean? But no, there's all sorts of things that are unnatural about me. But that is one of the few things that came naturally. <laughs> the rest of it, there's no flipping explanation for it. None, none not whatsoever. Born, so I didn't quite know if you meant that you weren't hatched or what. <laughs> <laughs> there is debate whether or not I was born normally or if mom found me under a rock somewhere. Ooh. Um, you know. Mom and Pat is in chat. I did see her somewhere. I'm not going to keep up. Mom and dad's in there. Did, did she come out naturally or did you find her out under a rock? <laughs> well, there were several years of my life that I thought I was adopted. So yeah. I did too. Did you really? Really? My sister had me thoroughly convinced that I was adopted. Oh, I had myself thoroughly convinced. Or, I did that actually, too. My eyes. Oh, I am a I was hey. adopted. Yeah, let's ignore the fact that I look just like my dad. But yeah, let's you know. Ignore the fact that my mother's sitting behind me is probably going to start throwing stuff at me. No, I really did. I thought I was adopted. Oh yeah, I did too. Yep, I went to my mother in tears one day. Mom, am I adopted? Never yeah. mind. She's not throwing stuff at me. She just said in chat, "I am adopted." Yep, so. that's what she said. <laughs> Yeah. And, and Mama Pat that's says she knows okay. I don't know who this Kelly is you speak of. So that's either wrong. one of your mamas are are um uh, yeah the same. 
We're yeah. too far into this. They're You're not, stuck with us. I don't know how to even. I can't even think of the word. But they, yeah. they don't. Yeah, they both not. know to treat us the same way. That's There's right. no ifs. They're yeah. just like, yeah, they are who they are. Mama Deb, Mama Deb, and Mama Pat. They're they're cut from the same mold, most they definitely. Are. They really are. One of these days, I'll teach my mom how to use this, and she'll get into chat. Yeah. She's kind of a who. She's a wine. She's a wine a holic like like me. Come visit and don't even tell us she's on the podcast. Not on this network because that's not allowed. But (laughs) what? It was funny because when we were at the women's club, we were doing a live feed, and she's like. You know, I was just scrolling through Facebook and all of a sudden I joined this live thing and she's like, I wasn't going to say anything because who's going to hear me? She's like, like, mom, they can't hear you, but you can talk to me on there. And she's like, well, she's like, I didn't fucking know. She's like, she's sitting there dead silent because she doesn't want anybody to hear her. Yeah. I'm like, hi, mom. Hi, mom. How are you? And she wouldn't answer me because she's like, I don't want anybody to hear me. It really takes special people. For all of us, like the the people in our lives, they are very special to put up with each and every one of us. And oh, I have to yes. you, Helen. Oh yeah, Amen. Oh, yeah. That one. Allison, Cynthia, yeah, Kelly, and, that, and especially me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Jay, you are a handful. What about oh, Matt? Days. Matt over here, gosh, he he is too tough to tame. <laughs> I was going to say he's our one saving you? grace for keeping us innocent and and, and pure. I know but, he's being all quiet and it's, innocent it's over there. We job. know better, Matt. It's we know better. more than full time. <laughs> I, I have no comment on any of this. Shay uh, alone has to be full time. You throw the rest of us in the mix and oof, you deserve hazard pay. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Oh, and pure our normal vocabulary. Sorry. <laughs> Well, that, that's why we have to have Matt. It's not in our vocabulary. So, you know, he balances it out. Um, well, you know, well, Monday I night. Have to be seen until, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I'll let you go first. I was going to say, I was halfway sane until I met half of these people. <laughs> I doubt that. You're I spot a Bud Light. I call bullshit. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever, whatever. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Mama Deb is calling Matt out. Matt is not innocent. <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, I am. He pleads, oh. he pleads the fit. Whatever your daughter says about me, it's not true. What are, what are you drinking, Matt? Oh. An energy drink? Uh, a big box. A what? No, a big it, box. I don't know what that big is. Big guy ale. It's not alcoholic, <laughs> Matt. You need to explain to her what oh, it is. Oh, okay. It's like an O'Doul's oh. then. Oh, oh, it's an no. energy drink. Oh, it's no. an energy drink. No, no that's uh, I've seen that can at work. No, that's that's uh some kind of beer like ale. Yes. Oh, it, it, oh, he's oh. drinking. Oh, uh-huh. and I spotted a Bud Light with you. I don't even have to see the can. I no, know. It was- first of all, that's a koozie. We have this conversation. But look at the tip. But look at the tip. It's blue like a Bud Light can. It is a Bud Light underneath, but not always. <laughs> see, I know. Isn't that sad? I know. I could just see like the rim of the can, and I'm like, it's a fucking Bud Light. Like, that's bad. I, I knew I was dealing with you, Allison, and I was like, you told me, yeah, we talked about our diet, and you, I knew you cheated, and I'm like, I'm I know. I told you. I'm like, I went off the. I yeah. I blame it on you. I know. I know. I need to be better. No, I'm at kidding. It. Sorry. No, I was kidding. Oh and I ate, I ate a freaking box of macaroni and cheese before I came over today. <laughs> that was my supper, my lunch, everything for today. Oh lord. And and a <laughs> bottle of wine. <laughs> a bottle sounds of like wine. a balanced meal to me. But I'm yeah. out. I'm out. So I need somebody to bring me a refill. I'll love you long time. Well, uh, my mom said food group? I was too far away or else wine? she would. Wine is a fruit group. It's fruit. So I'm getting mm. my grapes. That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Wine is a oh. grape salad. It's a grape salad. That's right. That's right. <laughs> it's a grape salad. Yeah, but Nico, ranch, Nico says everybody's ranch here. Does not taste good in wine. What does it? Ranch dressing. Ew. Oh. Why would you put no. ranch dressing in wine? What is wrong with you? You put it, but you said it was a salad. That's what I eat on salads. But it's a fruit salad. It's 
salad? Why would salad. you put ranch on a fruit, fruit salad? salad? I don't <laughs> eat fruit salads. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> <laughs> I needed this tonight. I know, me too, because I was about ready to go batshit crazy on somebody. I was going, I'd probably need some bail money. Oh, no, I've been that was that. Monday. Monday, I was like, oh my God. Yep, okay, I'm off the wall. I well, last weekend was prom, so I had to deal with all that shenanigans. Kelly's going through that too. Oh, you're going through that too, Kelly. Um, In a couple weeks, it'll be prom, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, she stayed there. Uh, she doesn't have a dress. Oh, Every other day she decides whether or not she's going. Oh. It, it's a great time. Hell no. It's yeah. about a thousand dollars for prom. Oh, I know. I know. And uh, yeah. Anyways. <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> All right. So, okay. Moving forward. So anybody who has questions, please feel free to put them in chat. Make sure you're sharing, liking. Asking everybody to get in chat. We want a full-blown question panel board right now. But I know Kim's has some questions that she found that she'd like oh, to ask boy. you guys. It's a little bit of a paranormal trivia. Yeah. Oh, do you no. want to read them off oh, or do you want me to do it? You can read. I can read them? Well, you okay, I'll try to figure out what's the question was. <laughs> <laughs> okay at least she has nice handwriting my handwriting forget it i can attest to that because i've seen your chicken scratch it's bad that was she that was like, notes and I'm like dur what, what? during my review at work they're like oh we give you fives on everything but you need to work on your note skills. I'm like, yeah. sorry, I can't help it. That's my writing. It's, it's like my texting skills. Seriously. Oh, my, my texting skills are crappy, too. I blame it on my fat fingers. Plus, I have no feeling in this hand anymore. Seriously. I don't know. The love note that you left on my hotel door the morning <laughs> after heavy drinking was not that bad. I was able to read it. Oh, you did? Oh, okay. I didn't know you even saw it because I never heard anything. Hell yeah. Kim, Kim, and I, Kim and I had to I give was, you a love note. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Kelly doesn't get hung over very often. Kelly was not feeling the best that morning. That was a great oh, night. Let's just put it I, I can't wait for the day I see Kelly hung over. Would, August is coming. Would, oh, that August have been coming. After, would that have been after Bango? Yep. That might have been in your neck of the woods, Cynthia, you damn <laughs> instigator. Yeah, I was doing uh, yeah. Can't wait for round two. I'm excited <laughs> for that shit. High five. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's like, I want in on this. Yeah, 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 he yeah, yeah, does. What am I doing here? We'll Not bring the margarita no. machine. Yeah, I got a margarita machine at home. You better. I wonder how many times it's going to go through Matt's head tonight. This is why I stay in the background. <laughs> yeah, I always wonder what happened behind the scene, and now I. I... Now you know. <laughs> well, we can't wait. We got to get you down here, Matt, because we're going to investigate with you yep. sometime. So yep. you get Hell to yeah. you get to enjoy all this. Yep. <laughs> Well, Monday night on the show, he said he'd like to investigate with women. He's got all the women. That's right. You do. There you got you go. a lot of women here tonight. <laughs> you have all the best women right That's here. right. Damn <laughs> straight. Exactly. Exactly. I can't yeah. blink, but. <laughs> Just hold one eye and blink with the other. I can Are give you, you okay? all this look. <laughs> Yeah, I can close one eye, but I'm, this whole side of my face looks like I'm having a seizure, so it's not a good thing. There's no winking. Sorry, I'm coughed in my mic because you that's made me laugh That's so okay. Hard. I'm choking on my own saliva. Okay. <laughs> Somebody else How did we lose Allison? Her own saliva. That's all right. <laughs> that's all right. Okay, so... First question Kim has written on here. We're going to start with Matt because he's been the quiet oh, one. He's been sitting in the corner all quiet, which we know he's not innocent. I've seen him in chat. Okay. Anyways, what does the word paranormal mean to you? The unknown. The unknown? 
You're just going to yeah. be a couple yeah. words? Yeah. Do you want to elaborate? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I think it's no. a good answer. Yeah, it is a very good answer. It is a very good answer. It, there is no Trying right to... or wrong for There's this no one. right or wrong for this one. Cynthia, let's go with you. Well, the technical definition of paranormal is anything outside of the normal. So I would have to agree with Matt and say the unknown. Um, basically looking for anything that you can't explain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Sorry, I have no <laughs> <laughs> And I'm out of wine. I'm out of wine. I have no drinks and I have no takers. Who does not want to bring this wine? Who? <laughs> Beyond me. Beyond me. I'm not giving For a while. Tequila. I had a bottle of wine down here, but I think I drank it all. Yeah, there's a bottle um, of tequila here, but Kim knows what happens if I have a bottle. Oh, yeah, yeah. Allison. Yeah, I've seen you have tequila there, Allison. <laughs> 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 Huh? Yeah, Allison is not allowed to drink tequila on the show. Nope. <laughs> not unless somebody wants to haul me out. Nope. Or, yeah, <laughs> something. All right. Oh, Let's go. All right, Matt. Matt, I drank tequila, Matt. Oh. Matt's not allowed uh, to Shay on tequila is a good time, too. Oh, I man. I, 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 I wasn't falling down. No. I, I Everything was standing up well. <laughs> Very well. My new bra helped. <laughs> all right, Shay, let's go. It's all about that. our support systems. <laughs> you know, we all need them. Oh, poor Allison. She lost train of thought. No, I said, Shay, it's your turn. I'm writing down all Darren's questions right now. I, Even though I, I should have. We should have all 101 probably in Kim's messenger, but I'm being nice and I'm going through what he's writing down right here, right now. I forget the question. I was thinking that bra. It was so good. <laughs> what does the word paranormal mean? Oh, what Matt and Kim did. you. Same thing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Kelly. Yeah, I have to. Dummy. Yeah. I got to oh, agree with both of them. Anything that is not normal would be paranormal. Uh, so we are all paranormal. No. Just want to mention that. Yep. Yes. I, I'm definitely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I'm hitting all kinds of buttons on here. What are you doing? I'm trying to play. I guess apparently I'm trying to play games on here. I don't know. <laughs> I thought that's what we were doing anyways. Well, you know. <laughs> you know. You know. Virtual games we are. All right. I was writing down Darren's questions and then I start, I realized that I was writing down the same questions twice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you only had one bottle of wine? Are you sure? Yes. But like I said, I've had a, a cookie and mac and cheese today. So, uh, so not much. And I went to the gym this morning before work. So, you know, I burned some calories there. All right. Let's see here. Uh, okay. Oh, when was the oh. first? What? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm reading Kim's question. This is the best 100th episode when, ever. When was yeah, the word yes. known used? So when paranormal? Was the paranormal. Okay. That's what I thought, but I wanted to make sure with you first. before I read it. Oh, okay. They didn't know what they were getting into when they tuned in tonight. Okay. Yes, we did. We didn't know who else would be on, but we all knew what we were getting into. <laughs> oh, yeah. Everybody loves this hot mess express. All right. When was the first known use of the word paranormal? What, when year? what year do you think? Can I phone a friend? <laughs> Mama Pat, Mama Pat. <laughs> let's let's start with Cynthia. Let's see what Cynthia's answer oh. is. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm mixing it up here a little bit. Okay. We're supposed to guess the year that the word paranormal was first used. Yep. Yep. Um I, well, I don't know. Um 
Let's 14, go with... 1426, Hooper. <laughs> nah. <laughs> well, I know, we'll go with I know it's wrong, but I was just like throwing something out. We'll go with, um, let's see. Let's go with 19, 1912. Okay. No, what I was put that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Like 16, 50, 50, 16th century? See, I was going to go with like the 1600s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be the 15th century. I get confused on that. Yes. No. Mm. The 1600s would be the 17th century. 17th century. I, yeah, I don't remember which is which. Okay, Matt, your would, turn. Oh, Matt, your turn. I would say it probably 1850s. Darren is actually pretty damn close in chat. He guessed 1930, and what Kim found was actually in the 1920s. No. Oh, well, I'm surprised. It had. You would think it would have been used before that. All right. So there was, was so it many called, like, spiritualism before that? Yes. Yes. It was yes. never called Because yeah, there was spiritualism in the 1800s. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, because I looked at the word I've read paranormal. About that. Yeah, the word yeah. paranormal. So, so you got close. Close. Good job, Matt. Well, let's see. Oh, uh, let's see. You're At echoing. Least I don't have huh? You're echoing. Yeah, why are we echoing all of a sudden? Because you've been writing on this again. <laughs> <laughs> well, it shouldn't be now. I'm not touching it. Echoing for you or echoing for the listeners? We for can us, hear it. I don't I know can, if the I listeners can, can. For me. Yeah, Kim can hear it. I don't hear an echo. Okay. Maybe it's me and my other, like. No, I can hear it. Because you probably punched something that you shouldn't have. Oh, great. <laughs> it's only when you guys talk, though. Nicole said the computer's just drunk now. <laughs> I know, I saw that. It, it's coming out of your pores, and you've, you've got the poor keyboard I, drunk. I, I really haven't touched it. I mean, everything looks right on here, so I don't know why all of a sudden it's doing that. Mama Deb says she can hear a little echo. Uh, Mama Pat says she can. Yeah. Uh, oh. I'm gonna like start like scratching my head and shit because I'm not running the show, so I have no idea. I can't even look. I mean, I don't have anything that shows that it's different on here. That's, that's it, weird. Maybe thing. people just need to hear us twice. Yeah, that's, that's right. It. Twice the love. Because we's twice is nice. That's right. Twice the love in here. Deal with I it. Th I think maybe. Try that. Okay, how's this sound? I still hear it. I still hear it. What the frick? I tell you, it's my inner demon coming out. Oh, it's just Allison, back up from the mic. It's just you. I didn't even have the mic plugged in. I just plugged it back in. Yeah, that was... <laughs> Alright, try it now. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's my... It's... <laughs> it's something I do. What the hell do I do? I don't know. Everybody says it's just me. I'm telling you, it's the inner demon coming out. I told you. <laughs> and this is why she pages. does my shows. <laughs> <laughs> I Seriously, every time it, it's craziness. I, I can hook it up, we can get it working, and we go to do it the next time, and just nothing. Nothing. What? Yeah. Running the shows ourselves, we just can't do it. it I guess Kim I don't needs know what, to talk. No, I didn't hear you echo that time. So weird. I told you it's the demon. It's the demon because I I oh, can it feel it. Gone. Yeah, I told you it wanted to come out. I can't help it. Remember tonight's safe word is watermelon. Watermelon, <laughs> which I do have a big watermelon sitting on my counter. <laughs> Because Lord knows I don't have it right. <laughs> Maybe in the caboose region, but. <laughs> I'll have to be sure to tell Chris that Matt figured out the safe word. So. <laughs> yeah. She's yep. over there scratching her head like, oh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> I'm going to drink the tequila here pretty soon. 
It's <laughs> a great shoe. What are you talking about? Oh, now you're echoing again. What did you do? I haven't touched anything. Okay, you you ask the question. See if it echoes for you. I told you it's my demon. <laughs> figured out guys her computer is mad because she took the camera off her boobs that's it if this fixes it i'm gonna lose my shit <laughs> much, much better thank you multiple choice okay all right i was having to ask her because i wasn't sure if it's was a bunch of questions or what okay what are the most notable paranormal beliefs a ghosts b ufos c extraterrestrial life or c all the above d a wouldn't extraterrestrial lives and ufos have to go hand no. in hand Unidentified flying objects is different than aliens. It just means it's <laughs> kind of, you can't explain what it is. An alien is an alien. <laughs> Who's flying it? Sit there, she's like, <laughs> we don't know. It could be, it could be a, pri a private Ryan. It's dude. probably Nucleus <laughs> 8. Re go back to our other episode about that whole thing about Nucleus A, and maybe he's the one because he is the what did I, I say? Think I think this one. Yeah, <laughs> what does Private Ryan have to do with this? <laughs> who, who said Private Ryan? That's where you're struggling with this question. He was a military person, meaning a military person. I'm Identified flying object does not mean it comes from out of space. It just means you can't identify what it is. So uh, totally different things. Okay. I suppose. Well, then I'd have to go with D. Okay, Matt. I'd have to say, I'd have to say F. Yeah, give you an F. F he's making up his own damn answers. <laughs> he's going F a fuck. Why did I agree? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it is D. Kim is a C. <laughs> All the above. God, I could go for one of those Bud Lights right now. Who's going to bring me <laughs> one? <laughs> All right, let's see here. 
Next question she has on here, what is a cryptid? Matt? What? Can you say that again? What is a cryptid? Oh, what is a cryptid? A unexplained, unknown animal, creature. That can't be proven by science. He's right. Boom. You guys got it. Awesome. Sorry. I dated some cryptids then. I'm sorry. You what? You were looking you using your cell phone? <laughs> no, I said I should mute myself because he was answering it and I just butted in. That's okay. Well, That's you both right. got it right. That's okay. We're used to it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, aren't they cute? They're finishing each other's sentences. sentences. I know. <laughs> yeah. Tomorrow he'll throw something at the house. You know? <laughs> I'm kidding. Swear to God. Hey, hey I haven't done that for a while. <laughs> 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 that flaming bag of dog <laughs> shit was not me. I was going to say, do you like fl- throw feces at her or what? I love you. <laughs> 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 There's that one flaming bag on oh, the doorstep. <laughs> 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 oh, my gosh. Oh. <laughs> This is why he's not on shows. Come on now. I said we're going to have him on one on one and we're going to talk about this string theory thing once I read all about it. You bolted that. Oh, yeah. I has no idea. He didn't agree to it, but I'm holding you bolted that. Yep. I will hunt you down, Matt. Oh, that means they can. Oh, they might. Trying to get my last little drop out of here. <laughs> she falls backwards out of her chair trying to <laughs> lick the cup out in case there's one more drop in there. I think it's I think it's pretty much gone. Think, oh. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'm just here to make everybody happy, you know. Get a little shit giggle out of everybody, you know. Oh, it's our my job until tonight. It's our hundredth episode. We gotta have some fun. Oh, you do. Celebrate. That's, That's right. Works. Celebrate. Celebrate. Is there a song like that? I don't know the words to it, but I know there's a song. I think it says celebrate. Yeah, she was thinking celebrate, but it looked like she was doing the Y Y M C A. I was good at like the chicken dance and stuff. <laughs> my, see, I knew my grandmother would have liked you. And then you go, yeah, yeah I get it. Um, Mama Des, Deb said to quit licking the cup. <laughs> I'm sorry, but oh, I'm sorry, but you. <laughs> yeah, Callie Red, Callie Red Snoop Dog Edition is the shit for wine. Hi, Mama Deb, I love you. Now they can see you. Oh, and now they're changing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, catch my kisses. <laughs> Everybody wants these kisses. Yeah, that, was a, that was a good guess on that. <laughs> it's, I'm keeping it on her, so now. <laughs> okay, somebody is wild, but I don't know who he's talking about. Who's wild? I don't see anybody being wild. On it's Matt. Show. He's talking about Matt. Oh, yeah, exactly. Matt is on Girls Gone Wild. Oh, yeah, Nico. Yeah, you know it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he probably is. He's probably like, come at me. And, oh, my gosh, Cynthia is having Jimmy John's. Come on now. What? She's having what? Jimmy John's. What the hell is a Jimmy John? You guys don't have Jimmy John's? What? <laughs> Jimmy John's are freaky fast. <laughs> they are freaky fast. Stop sandwich. They can have me at 12 inch in like 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah, that's about how long. No, oh, anyways. Okay. <laughs> Kim's like, okay, well, let's get going. I think I lost the. What is a Jimmy John? It's no, a it's no, a club I, shop. It's like, do you guys have Jersey oh, Mike's or like kind of like a subway? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so now I'm seeing double of Kelly 
and all I see is Mama Deb. I don't see Shay, and I see I see Cynthia's cup. Oh, oh no, 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 no! I turned my camera on purpose. Mom wants to put in and comment. Oh. She has a main focus. I still say, Shay, we need to have a mama show. We need yeah. to get our mamas on the show. There you go. There you go. That's what you need to do. Yes. <laughs> All right. Kim's telling me I'm being too crazy. So no, I didn't. She's like, come on, chop chop, let's go. Yeah, Deb's so, like next question so, too. Kelly's next question. hungry. Kelly's hungry. Oh, Kelly's hungry. Oh, my B dubs isn't here yet. So I, I'm watching my monitor to see when it gets delivered. To Kelly's time. We have eight minutes. We have as long as you guys need. I my kid will answer the door and grab the food. It's all good. Yeah, but her stomach will. Hell, yeah. Hannah. Yeah. We won't just have echoes. We'll have a stomach growling. Yeah, exactly. you'll hear me licking my fingers as I'm eating my wings. That's okay. Would wings it be are the first amazing. time if some of us have done that. Right. <laughs> yeah. All right. So next question Kim has here is what plant is often used to clean the house of bad mojo? Sage. Ow, oh, ow, oh, me, me, calling me. Okay, oh. Kelly, what's, what, what do you want to say? Sage, white sage usually. Although there's cedar and lavender and palo santo and yeah. there's all the different stuff you can use, but yes. I think I've had, well, I've had sage and palo santo used on me. And sweet grass. So you have. <laughs> Cynthia's like, yeah, you have, bitch. <laughs> she gets to deal with me a lot. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh my goodness. I just, I, just yes. got, I just got a new sage stick. It's a Three Sisters. It is sage, Palo Santo, or not Palo Santo, sage, sweetgrass, and cedar, I would guess. Or is it rosemary? No, it's sage, sweetgrass, and cedar. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. It smells yummy. Oh, I bet it does. I, I, I bought new cards that I have to show you sometime, too. Are they Are they naughty cards? No, they're oh. oracle cards, but well, they could be naughty. <laughs> <laughs> no, Kelly and I have this ongoing thing that we make bets with each other on when we go places that we're gonna buy if we buy new tarot. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. I, I think we came home from the Dubuque Expo with three or four decks between all of us. So. Oh my goodness! Wow. Okay, yeah, nice. Oh no, actually, that's not right because. I think I got two. Chris got one, and Caden's girlfriend got two. Wow. So, yeah. are you are, are you building anyway. a new room for your house so you can hold them all? <laughs> Potentially, yeah. Uh, you know, somebody's gonna have to move out, so I have room to put all this stuff. <laughs> Sorry, kid. It's time to leave. <laughs> okay, I think I had. Two I more have. questions. Okay. Then... Well, Kim, you know what? You can ask some because you're always hidden all the time. That's right. That's where I'm hidden. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And then she hands the damn paper back to me. <laughs> ask the damn question. Okay. The energy given off by a paranormal spirit is referred to as what? Freaky. <laughs> no, that's not the right answer. Damn it. Okay. I can you repeat the question? The energy given off by a paranormal spirit is referred to as what? An orb. It, yeah, it depends on you talking EMF. EMF orb, like yeah. No. You Crazy, can say the answer. Fake. <laughs> the energy given off by a spirit. Mm -hmm. Ectoplasm. Um, Yay! Woo! Is that right? Yeah. I thought this was oh, you got to get that happy. <laughs> That's the sticky stuff that comes off the ghost. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> Ghostbusters, but. <laughs> Is it just sticky slime that comes off a ghost? <laughs> It's we don't want to know what the sticky slime is, Allison. 
No, we don't. <laughs> I like Matt's laugh. It's so cute. I know, right? <laughs> right? He's like, hee hee hee, I'm just going to play innocent. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Okay, Matt, we're going to yes. go with you first. Your view on dreams. Do you think they can come true? Sure. Oh, I thought you fell out of your chair there for a second. <laughs> what? What'd you say? <laughs> I thought you fell out of your chair for a second. <laughs> I'm not that tipsy. Yeah, but you disappeared off the back. Oh, oh. <laughs> sorry. My bad. I jumped off the balcony in the background. <laughs> I plummeted. But yes, I think I think dreams dreams can come true uh, with intent and positive thinking. Good answer. Good answer. Cynthia, what do you think? Oh, definitely. I've had I've had <laughs> I have constant deja vu. Um, because I've dreamt something and then I actually go through it at work mm -hmm. or at home or, you know, whatever I'm doing. So, oh, definitely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shay, what do you think? <coughs> what's, it called? Pre, what's it called? Pre, um, pre technician. Thank you. Yes, I do. And I'm not psychic. I'm not medium. And I have them. Um, like, I'll tell people all the time when I dream and. And let me tell you, seventy-five percent of them, I'm like praying they don't come true. Like, yeah. you know, but there's the occasional that does come true, and is a coincidence. I don't know. How can you dream a coincidence? I don't know. No. Kelly smirking. Look at I that. <laughs> Kelly, come on, you give us your. Um, I think there's multiple things that dreams can be. I think they can be precognitive where they're telling us something or showing us something that's going to happen. I think sometimes they can be warnings where they're telling us something that could potentially happen and giving us the opportunity to use our free will to change that from happening. Um, but I also think sometimes that our dreams are where we're tapping into our soul box or into our life, our soul memories from previous lives. So some of the dreams that we have may have something to do with experiences that we had in previous lives. I like that. Sorry, not my show. Oh, Sorry. Well, no, that's fine. No, I, I like it too. I like it too. Uh, the reason I brought up that question is because I've been having some dreams. Oh, and they, they have a big good dreams. Oh, no. And oh, no. I, I dreamed, I dreamt that somebody close to me got real <clears throat> sick, which... My cousin had a, they thought had a heart attack and she's in the hospital right now. So it's like, oh, oh. I had it the day before I got the phone call. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, I'm sorry. And, and then, yeah, yesterday was another bad day for us at work. I'm 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 scared to work there anymore because what am I getting myself into? Because our pet dog that comes into work every day. Got into some meth. We had to take him to the vet, and he's oh my at god, the, he's at the vet right now. So what am I digging my hands into if he found it? Mm -hmm. I, I'm sorry, meth as in the drug. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I don't know. Yeah. So yeah. what? So what am I getting myself into? Yeah. What is getting on her hands if the dog found it? Oh my god! I wore my hands for you. I wash my hands all the time, but the dog found it. We don't know where he found it. You know, is it coming in on our bottles? Is it coming in on our cans or what? Hmm. That's scary. But he's doing okay. He gets to come home. Uh, he was getting to come home at 5 o'clock tonight, so they caught it. Yeah, I don't think he had enough in his system to really hurt him, so we're just good. Good. So we're just going to keep him away from work for a while, but he loves coming there and working with us. I know, I've met the puppy. Of course well, he likes he coming needs... there. He got back. 
Well, and he may have found it someplace other than there at work, Kim, if he's wa- able to wander around. Yeah. You know. Well, yeah, that's true. He could have found it outside or anywhere, but we just don't know because yeah, he was fine at noon when he comes in and sits at break with me. <clears throat> Because he always tells me when it's 1230, it's time to go back to work because he's right at the door at 1230. He's got it down. <laughs> and, and, and then we were loading a truck about 1 o'clock, and that's when he stru- it happened. So I managed to catch her. This is the new one. Oh, no. Kim, you should recognize this one. Yes, yes I, do. I do too because I had to take pictures of all the little kitty. Yeah, she's not so little anymore. No, sorry no. guys, <laughs> this isn't very good to see on this camera, but I'm showing them baby kitty. That's so cute. All they can hear is her going. Uh, that's the one down on the ground that doesn't oh. like the other cat. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. I know I'm talking. All you hear is okay. Sorry. Pause. Totally derailed the show with something they can't see. We can keep going. We have derailed the show at the very beginning. So, <laughs> what's new? What's new for us? I was your first guest, right? Yes. yes. So, uh, right off the bat, episode one was derailed. <laughs> yeah, it was actually. I first, I don't know what the hell I was doing. And now I'm really corrupted, so, you know, it's all good. (laughs) The real me comes out, and everybody's like, oh, my God, what the hell am I getting myself into? And can I ask you guys a question? Sure. What do you guys think of people thinking they know the real you from listening to all of you? All of you have done podcasts. Do you think you get the full picture, or they just get what... Because for me, you guys that are listening get what I want you to hear. Mm-hmm. What about you guys? Do you think they get the full picture? No. Like, we speak our truth, but I don't think they get the full. No. No, they don't. I, I think they Most get to know us to a certain extent, but I mean, there's always a part of us that we're going to keep. To just us you know or to keep to just our close friends and family so mm-hmm. it's i don't know i i think a lot of us are are pretty real on who we are when we're on air there's just yeah. parts of us that we keep private exactly so I'm yeah. exactly she's like where's my food <laughs> <laughs> she's like looking like is that my B dubs? Is that my B dubs? Sorry, my my kid came into the room because I told him to get the dog in because the food should be getting here. So it's a whole cluster of <laughs> stuff going on. Well, we have a couple questions left in chat that I haven't got to yet. A couple from Darren, one from Nico. So we'll get to those real quick. Right. Okay, first question is Does if I oh my god I can't read <laughs> I can't read my writing. <laughs> what is that? Does anyone have any new experiments that they are testing out right now? So, Matt, do you have anything? Nothing at the moment. No? Kelly? Um, So, it's not technically mine, but um, Chris has started making drums and rattles and dream catchers and all that sort of stuff, but... Um, we've got some ideas for experiments and different things that we're going to do on investigations that uh, bring that drum and rattle aspect into it. So we're excited to give that a try. Nice. Oh, okay. Uh, Cynthia? Um, not really. Just playing around with the new ITC stuff that I've got. Mm-hmm. Okay. Shay, do you have anything that you want to try? Um, I honestly forgot the question. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, you're sounding like me. Okay. <clears throat> Do you have a new experiment that you are testing out or want to try? Uh, no. I haven't been out. I haven't been out in any. That's why I forgot. I haven't been anywhere. <laughs> Like, we're just now planning stuff. Matt, Kelly, and I are planning stuff, but 
like I can't go there because I was so scared in 2020 to plan stuff and be let down. So mm-hmm. we're just now starting. Okay. Yeah, I, I've got a new experiment we're going to try at the Granger house. We're going to take one phone and put it somewhere on my tripod and go live with it and then go live with the other phone so you can see in the room as we're live and we're going to be in an opposite room and it's going to be on a very slow turnaround table by itself and it just circulates the phone room while you guys can watch that and then watch our live feed in another room too we're gonna try yeah, we it did, out yeah we did something like that when we were down at mason house so it seemed to go well kim we had our one static cam pointing down the hallway and we had a laser grid set up um and then we were doing a live in a different room so yeah it's fun it gives people a couple different things to watch yep yep uh, okay one other question here is, what is everyone's greatest fear of the paranormal? Cynthia, you want to go first? My greatest fear of the paranormal? Thanks, Darren. Um, well, if you're going actual, like, types of spirits, crawlers. Yeah, yeah, those are terrifying. (laughs) If you're going actual, like, just, um, like, in general, um, I guess my biggest fear is that there's, there's, There's actually nothing out there. I I, got to figure out how I want to put this. It's that that there's there's nowhere else to go after, you know, we pass on. You're stuck in one place. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Where we're truly just stuck wandering around. Okay, right. and the only thing that I would, sorry, I guess. Nope, you're fine, go for it. I was going to say, the only thing that I would say to that, because I, I mean, I have wondered about that too, but think of how many spirits there would be if that was the case. I mean, like, oh, yeah. and you couldn't, you, we couldn't walk anywhere without walking through 12 million of them every step, you know? Right, right. So there's yeah. got to be, there's got to be something. We go somewhere. Mm-hmm. Shay, what do you think? I'm somewhere between them. Like, I, I am, um, I'm on a path of questioning everything uh, for a year now. Um, I, I agree. Like, there's death all around us. There's spirits all around us. But can't be every person in the world. Or else we would have scientifically been able to prove it. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I'm somewhere in the middle. I really, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's, that's a fine answer. That's fine. Oh my gosh. Why am I echoing again? <laughs> it's the I camera. I'm telling you. It's, like, it's the camera's not on your boobs. There, there you go. go. <laughs> no, I, I just put the out. It was in front of my mic. It's my fault. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. Okay, last question here we had from Nico was, when does something paranormal become normal? Who wants to start that one? I will. It doesn't until okay. we can scientifically prove it, which we're far off from doing. But it's not normal until we can actually scientifically 100% prove it. Yeah, and that would be the thing. When it... When there's not an explan- a normal explanation, it's paranormal. So once we get an explanation, once we're able to prove something, it's no longer unexplainable. Therefore, it's no longer paranormal. See, that's why yeah. she's my co-host. She yeah. fixes everything I say. <laughs> <laughs> I speak Shay. Yeah. When it's proven or debunked. Yep. Yep. That, 
Do you have anything you want to say to that? No, I agree with it. I agree with it. Okay. Any last questions in yes. chat? Everybody's answered it but Matt. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Everybody's so, answered so Matt. it but Matt. Oh, it's all on Matt. It's all on Matt. What is the one thing you would not want to be haunted? And the Shay is not an option. <laughs> uh, can you imagine Shay with a demon in her? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, he wouldn't be how long he That wanted. demon would run screaming. Oh, my God. What did I sign up for? <laughs> That's what Matt did. <laughs> 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 he speaks uh, that less. really is the question, Matt. Yeah, come on. What's, uh, what's, your, my, what's your answer? My cell phone. Your cell phone? Yeah. You afraid it's gonna have something naughty come towards you or something? Yeah. <laughs> no, Think about it though. Anything on my phone. <laughs> well, and on it. Yeah. See, when you guys say, when anybody answers cell phone, all I can imagine though is like I've got it up to my ear talking to somebody, and all of a sudden my phone sticks a tongue in my ear or something. Oh, like, shit. <laughs> I was just literally thinking that. <laughs> yeah, for me, it's like, I, I, um, um, uh, how long Matt knows? Matt's probably, Matt and my mother are the only two people that, how long does it take me to do social media? Like, if my phone's haunted, I'm, I'm F U C K. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I uh, seriously like I need to get that stuff out and I need to stop as quick as possible and if it's haunted who knows I like even sober I can't type picture, I can't either <laughs> have you my seen my haunted. typing picture my phone haunted what the hell is gonna come out no. I'm with you Matt oh my gosh I'm with them. All right. So before we wrap things up here, I'm going to give shout outs to everybody who was in chat. Okay. We had myself, we had Shay, we had Kelly, we had Mama Deb, we had Darren, we had Mama Pat, we had Nick, we had Nico, we had the Isle Beholder was in there. They didn't actually get in chat, but I did I see him see up there. Picture. Yeah, oh. son of a bitch. He, he, was, he was in there. And he listens to almost, Nikki, almost Nikki. every show, but he doesn't talk. We oh, love you, though, I. Yes, we love you. <laughs> you son of a bitch. You, I was, you took the words right out of my mouth. Sneaky, sneaky, <laughs> sneaky, but I do see you. I see you up there. And then whoever has the anime character, I see you, too. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. But they've been in chat. I've seen them in your guys' chats and everything. I've seen them in ours. I don't know who it is. So, but thank you for being in. We love you. We appreciate each and every one of you. Um, I want to thank all of our awesome guests for our hundredth episode. Like I said, for Shay and Matt, we wouldn't be here. So thank you for putting up with our bullshit every Thursday night. Um uh, so hopefully to a hundred more. If you can handle us. <laughs> We're too, we're too hot to tame here, okay? So thank Thanks. you, Shay. <laughs> thank you, Shay. Thank you, Cynthia. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, Kelly. Um, and next week, we're sorry our fifth one couldn't make yes, it. Yes, sorry our fifth one couldn't make it. It was Holly Mullins. She's an intuitive healer. She was having internet issues or internet issues. So we'll I can't have even her talk. on sometime. So we'll have to have her on again sometime and talk about raccoon dicks and all that. Yes. yes. Oh yeah, definitely. So, Ivory. Yeah. So, um, make sure you guys tune into Shay's Paranormal Chat tomorrow night, and then also next week we have Joe Diamond on. He is going to be the greatest mind reader. So stay tuned for that. We may open up chats. We may open up the phone lines if you guys want to be interested and see if he could read your mind. You never know if Shay's available. So. <laughs> Just put it out there. Like you are a flag person at the airport. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Captain Pelican, you do this. Yeah, she does. She looks like a flight. Maybe I should be a flight attendant. You have ex here? You should be on an investigation with her. She uses her hand. Oh, I will be. I'll, Matt and I will be on an investigation with all of you. 
in the future. You guys, you know, better. You better. Get your asses down here. I don't care how you have to do it. Right? Show some, some ta Show some legs. Whatever you got to do. Matt. Yeah, Matt. Matt. <laughs> I want to show my tatas or my legs. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, whatever. <laughs> I'm sure some guy will be like, hot damn. I'll take you wherever you want to go. So, yeah. <laughs> just saying. I don't. Um, I, I, um, uh, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm speaking. Yep. That don't happen much. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh God! I even use my hands at work when I'm on the phone trying to tell people I where we're see located. It. You're like really directing traffic. <laughs> I fucking like, am. It. I'm like in the office, like, like show, okay, like we're here. We're here. We're here. Our door is on the north side of the building, and I live in a van down by the river. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Kim is so proud of you tonight. You, Kim is so proud of you. You know that, right? <laughs> Kim's over here like this. <laughs> Love you, Kim. <laughs> All right. I want to say again, like I said, thank you everybody for being on tonight. It was a blast. Matt, like I said, we're going to have a one on one on string right, theory. So you best be ready. And right, she'll right. only be allowed to drink half a bottle of wine. Yeah. <laughs> Who's gonna know? <laughs> oh, we will. We will. Oh, we will. I we don't. Will. I don't slur my words. I oh, no. oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. All right. Peace out, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Hey, bye. Bye. Uh, love you guys. Thank you for listening to REP Paranormal and Friends. Be sure to check out Kim and Allison on Facebook at REP Paranormal Busters. 